In this video, we have an interesting problem where we perform a lookup across multiple columns. So here we have some codes that are scattered across multiple columns, as you can see here, and we have a code reference list. And we need to determine which of the codes that are scattered across multiple columns do exist on the code reference list and which of them do not exist on the code reference list. And this is a problem that I faced with one of my clients I managed to solve using Power Query. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so to solve our problem, we need to start by importing both data sets here to Power Query. So we're gonna start importing the first data set here, which is the list of our codes. So to do that, we're gonna select any cell on the list and go to data and click on from table slash range. And as you can see here, Power Query is able to detect our data table and the table does have a header, which is the code header here. So we're gonna press okay. And this will take us to the Power Query editor. All right, so now we're in the Power Query editor. Let's rename that query here instead of table one. Let's just name it reference codes. And as you can see here, we've managed to import our first table, which is the list of reference codes. We're gonna close and load that. So we're gonna click on the arrow here under close and load, and we're gonna close and load two, and we're gonna choose to only create a connection and let's click okay. And then we're gonna go to the other table here that contains our used codes. And we're gonna go to data from table slash range. And as you can see here, our table does have headers here, which is the lists of the different codes. And we're gonna click okay. And this will take us to the Power Query editor as well. And let's change the name of the query for the second table here to used codes. And now, as you can see here, we have our codes scattered across different columns. So in order to solve our problem and perform a lookup for our reference codes here against our used codes scattered in different columns, we need to make sure we have all the used codes in a single column. So to do that, we need to unpivot these columns that we have here. And in order to do that, we need to select all of our columns. So we'll press Control and A to select all of our columns and then right click and click on unpivot columns. And this will unpivot our table here. And as you can see here, we have a column containing our column headers that were the different lists. And then we have another column containing the value under each column header as you can see here. And now we don't need the column header. So let's just delete that column. So right click and remove. And here for the column that contains our used codes, let's first start by removing the blank values. So I'm gonna filter off the blank values. And the second thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna make sure that we don't have any duplicates on that column. So we're gonna select our column here and click on remove rows and remove our duplicates. So as you can see here, now the column has only 49 rows, so 49 unique codes. And let's name that codes, for example, or give it any other name. So we've renamed our column here. All right, so the next step is to do a lookup between the two different tables. And to do that in Power Query, we need to do what we call merging of queries. And this is like doing a VLOOKUP or performing a join in SQL. So in order to do that, we need to use the merge queries command here under the home tab on the ribbon. And we're gonna use merge queries as new because merge queries is gonna do the merging in the same query. But merge queries as new is gonna perform the merging or the lookup or the joining in a third query. And this is what we want to do. We want to get the results on a third query and not get the results on the same query. So this is why we're gonna use merge queries as new as opposed to merge queries. So we'll click on merge queries as new. And here it says select tables and matching columns to create merge table. And as you can see here, we have our first table as the reference codes table. And you need to make sure to select the matching column between the two tables. The tables have only one column and this is the matching column. And then you're gonna select the second table here, which in our case is gonna be the use codes. And you need to make sure to also select the matching column on the second table. And you could have two tables with multiple columns. so. You 
you need to make sure to select the matching column between the two tables on both tables here. And under the join kind here, you need to choose the type of join that you would like to perform between the two tables. And since we need to know which codes are common between the two tables, so in this case, we're going to use the inner join, which results in the matching rows only. So it's going to result in the codes that are matching between the two tables. So we're going to use the inner join. And as you can see here, it's telling you that there are 16 codes that are matching between the two tables. So we're going to click OK. And this will result in a third query or table here where we have the matching codes. And you're able to also expand the table to include other columns. But in this case, our table contains only a single column. So you cannot expand it because it only contains a single column. And we already have it here on the code column. So we're going to right click and remove that extra expansion thing here. And we're going to name that query common codes. All right. So we managed to extract the common codes between the two tables. Our second objective here is to extract also the codes that were used here on this table and are not on the reference codes. So to do that, we're going to select any of the two tables here and we're going to also merge queries as new. And as you can see here, we have our used codes here at the top, and this is considered to be the first table. So whatever table you have at the top is considered to be the first table, and we've selected the common column, and then we're going to select the reference codes. So this is considered to be the second table. So it's very important for you to know that, and we're going to select the common column. And what we need to get is the records or the values that are on the first table, but are not on the second table. So the join kind we're going to choose here is the left anti-join, which would produce the rows only in the first table, but not in the second table. So as you can see here, it's telling you that the selection excludes 16 of 49 rows from the first table. So we're going to click OK here. And as you can see here, we get 33 rows. So it's excluded 16 out of 49. So the remaining are 33 rows. And we're going to remove that column as well. And we're going to name this query uncommon codes. So now we're going to load all of our queries. We're going to click on this arrow here and then close and load two. And we're going to only create a connection and click OK so that we load all of our new queries as a connection only. But then we want our common codes and uncommon codes to be on worksheets. So I'm going to right click here on the common codes and click on load to and I'm going to load it to a table and to a new worksheet and click OK. And as you can see here, we have a new worksheet containing our common codes table. Now let's also load the uncommon codes to a worksheet. But in this case, we're going to load it to the same worksheet. So as to do a comparison between the two lists to make sure that we have the correct result. So I'm going to load it to an existing worksheet and I'm going to load it to this cell, for example, and click OK. And as you can see here, now we've loaded the second table here of uncommon codes to the same worksheet. And if we do a VLOOKUP just to check our results, so we're going to look up this code here in this table array and the column index number is going to be a one and the lookup is going to be an exact match. Close the brackets and press enter and we should get the hash and a error for all the codes. And this is because there are no common codes between the two lists. So this confirms that we got the correct results. All right. So this concludes our video today. So if you found the video helpful, please make sure to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified with all of our future videos. And please make sure to follow us on social media. You'll find the links down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.